Welcome everybody to Red Tone Studio. Today we're going to play around with some moving blankets because I got a crap load of them. We're going to hang them up and see how it affects our frequency response within the room, um, decay time, looking at the waterfall charts and spectrogram and REW, and we'll see if they help any. So we're going to put them up on the back wall. We're going to put some on the desk to stop some comb filtering I found. We're going to put some on the side walls and then also right down the center of the room just to, just to see how it affects the sound in the room and what you hear at the listening position. So let's move over to REW, free software, great software. First, I measured the empty room. And you can see within the chart, the frequency response, I've got some, some high humps, some low dips, and quite a bit of comb filtering here on top. As we move to the empty spectrogram for the empty room, you'll see that I've got a lot of tails that go on for quite high. I'd like to see them all down here in this area where the super highs are. And then in the waterfall chart, you see that they they don't drop off much and they go forever. So first I hung two moving blankets on the back wall. So as you can see as we turn the, the back wall on it does not help the frequency response hardly at all. Comb filtering is still there. Some of the, some of the peaks and valleys have gone in and out. As we go to the spectrogram though you will see that here above 2K, it kind of knocked it down in a shelf. So we go back and forth between empty. You'll see that it helped, especially there above 2K. But also it did take down some of this 300 to 1K area. We look at the waterfall. You kind of see it here the same. Didn't change much. Knocked it down ever so slightly. Then I put the moving blankets on top of the desk to hit the first reflections just bouncing off the desk. You see as I turn those on it really helped the comb filtering here in the top end. Took down some of these mids, high mids, and really changed the frequency response. This, I think, had to do with the extra thickness of the, the moving blankets. As we move to the spectrogram, you'll see from the back wall to the moving blankets, it smoothed out a lot of the, uh, the peaks and valleys like we saw before. Didn't help much of the tails. Kind of helped right here in this, this area here between 2 and 3K not much. The waterfall you can see as we move back and forth again it uh, smoothed out the peaks and valleys but other than that not a whole lot has changed. So then I put moving blankets on the side walls. Kinda hard to see here. I'll remove the empty in the back wall off. So putting, uh, putting on the sidewalls barely helped my, my uh, frequency response. As we move to the spectrogram though, it shaved off a little, a little more of these tails, especially above 2K, flattened that out well. And this, this midsection here between 300 and 2K it helped a little bit. In the waterfall, going back and forth, knocked those down even farther, especially down here, knocked some of those trails off. Still not, not great. I hung the moving blankets across the middle of the room. I've got a cheap truss that I bought uh, off a musician's friend many years ago to hang some lights. Super cheap, but uh, it was effective for the band. It helps now with holding the green screen, and then uh, for these, this moving blanket test, we'll see how that goes. 
So we'll turn that on. Again, really didn't help frequency response hardly at all. As we move to the spectrogram, we knocked, we knocked the tails down even farther, though it's still, you know, still pretty high, higher than I'd like to see. Especially over this 2K, it seemed to really help. Um, the mids knocked down just ever so slightly. So let's go over to the waterfall. And you'll see the tails in these high over 2K now are just about disappeared compared to just having the side walls up. Knock down some of the, the 300 to 2K a little bit. So let's go back to the spectrogram, and you'll see from, uh, from empty to all the moving blankets in place, it really did help. But now you'll notice under, under say 300, hardly anything has changed. So do moving blankets help for your studio? Probably not a whole lot. They'll knock down the highs, get some of that decay time out, which is always good, but it's not gonna help anywhere in the lows. And as we look at the waterfall, you'll see that those lows hardly changed. The highs, it seemed to help quite a bit. And then in the, the frequency response, before to after, red to green, red being before, green being after, you'll see that it didn't help hardly at all here under 300. And the moving blankets on the desk is really what helped a lot with the frequency response, comb filtering in the top end. So in conclusion, I would say that if you're looking to tame the highs, uh, moving blankets on your, your wall will help. But if you're looking to you know, completely do all your acoustic cr treatment with just moving blankets, you're gonna fall very short. Now I've got a very large room and I only uh, covered a small percentage of the walls. It'll probably, you know, the highs would look better if I were to cover even more but then I'd get a very unbalanced, you know, response in decay times as we move from one to the other. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe in the below. Um, leave me some comments. Tell me if there's something else I should try, do. Red Tone Studios, over and out.